so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh-uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I'd call that dancing. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton ready to dominate the competition. Minnesota, the WWE Women's Champion, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. As far as Tiffany Stratton is concerned, she is the prettiest thing to ever happen in WWE. She thinks her presence alone drastically improves the quality of our broadcast. I mean, is she wrong? You have to admit, everything about Stratton really is pretty. From her clothes, to her hair, to her picturesque attacks, Stratton has worked hard to make sure she is the image of in-ring perfection. And she works hard to make sure she always gets what she wants, one way or another. But across the ring and looking confident as ever is Bianca Belair. Two superstars truly believe in themselves like Belair does. Bianca knows there's no challenge, no opponent that she can't overcome with tenacity and a winning attitude. An uncompromising superstar who insists on doing things her own way. I do have to applaud Bianca for always believing in herself. What's the best strategy in a match against a superstar like Bianca? And into the count. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Ooh, reversal catches Bianca. Into a sidewalk slam. Ooh, she just turned it around. Sent into the corner. Uh-oh. Uh, Tiffany manages to counter. Sky high! Way up there. And the EST got bested there. Hard-hitting damage coming from Stratton. When you have the skill, you flaunt it, and you make it hurt, too. Here we go, Byron. Samoan drop. Tiffany looking for the high risk move. She's got her where she wants her. We're going to finish it off. Competitive spirit is alive. And she got her down. Is this it? She's quick to get her shoulder up. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Ooh, sidewalk slam. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Belair goes behind. How about... And here's a cover. Kick out. She still has life. Now a 
is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Belair predicted that. She's trying, trying to create space. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Look at that insult to injury with that one. And Bianca Belair felt the pressure there. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of a match. Oh, suicide dive. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body Whoa. like that is insane. She sent back in under the ropes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, strong impact. Watch this power. Way up and down hard. Two. Kicking out in time. She just won't stay down. Oh, caught a power ball. Such a potent display of power and control there. She's getting back to her feet. But is there fight left? Up high. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Stratton is now under pressure. Bianca's doing a good job staying attached to the competition. <laughs> Paying it back with their own. Bianca Belair. KOD! Belair might have this in the back. Cover! Two! And she's still in the game. Her perseverance is unreal, preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. I don't know if Belair has ever been more shocked in her career. That was not at all what she was expecting. Shining Star Press! These competitors came out here poised and ready for a fight, and boy, are they delivering. Up and down! What a slam! Big-time clothesline. Good grief. Stratton was scouted there. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. Boom, slam. With authority. Her energy is fading rapidly now. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Ooh, what a forearm club. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Pulled back into the hip toss. Momentum really on Stratton's side now. Nicely done. Picking her spots carefully against Belair and trying to outsmart the EST. Oh, no! A net breaker! the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Looks like the EST can add the showboating est to her resume. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Ouch. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. We're going to finish it off. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. Matt Slam with some attitude. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. 
kick out. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. The WWE faithful communicating in no uncertain terms. It is electric in here. for this superstar tonight certainly earned it it wasn't easy well, I think the loser realizes he wants to show respect wow and complete disrespect by the winner this is a deeply personal issue it doesn't appear to be completely resolved just yet. 